Hello everyone, it's Josh with Palacis Media again. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a Facebook Pixel. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that on ClickFunnels, on Wix, and I'll just tell you how to set it up, how it all works. And yeah, let's get into it. So go to our business manager, and I hopefully you've already set this up. Um, if not, uh, I'll put the link in the bio below for the previous video where I showed you how to set it up. Um, so what we're going to want to do is go to, by the way, if you don't know what a Facebook pixel is, it's pretty much how you track everything <laughs> on, uh, on your landing pages, um, on, well, just on anything on your website, your landing pages, whatever. And then you can track it all within Facebook. And then when you come to business manager, you can look at the analytics for that pixel. So we're going to want to come here to pixels. And by the way, we're going to do a separate quick video on custom conversions because I don't want to clutter it in with this video. And I know a lot of people want to know how to do this. Um, and this is pretty much specifically using like using the pixel to specifically target certain people that have done certain actions on your pages. So we'll get to that in another video. So first things first, choose the ad account that you want to use for this. Let's just go empty. And then... For some reason, the pixel section takes a long time to load. I don't know why. So what you're going to want to do is um, add a new data source, and then you're going to want to do Facebook pixel. I already have this set up, so let's just go in here. Um, and what's going to come up first is this. You can come here and always you can change this or go and grab the pixel again from setup. But this is the first thing that is probably going to be coming up when you set a pixel up. So if you already use uh, Google Tag Manager or one of these, you know, other tag managers. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. That is what it's called, I guess. Um, go through this sequence here and just follow the steps that it tells you. But we're going to be talking about how to manually set up the code. So what you can do, or what you're going to do is go here, click manually set up the code. Uh, this just kind of gives you some instructions on where to locate your header. Um, I'll show you for Wix and ClickFunnels because it's very simple. Um, and this piece of code here is your pixel. So what you're going to want to do is click it, copy it, um, don't worry about this. Just keep it off. Um, so let's say here in um, in ClickFunnels, this is some just random funnel. So we're going to want to go in here, edit page, and go up to settings, go up to tracking code. And for some reason, I already have a pixel in here. I don't know why. Um, anyway, so pretty much just imagine this is deleted. And then you're going to want to copy paste. And that's it. And then you literally exit out and save, and you're done. Um, I don't want to put it in here, though, because I think that tracking code is linked to something. I don't think I use it, but just to be safe. Um, so that's that for that. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is once that's done, save it, and then just go back to go back here, open up the page, refresh it a few times, and then come back to Facebook. And then it should say active. It might take an hour or so it might take a little bit of time just make sure you're coming back in here and make sure this is active before you start any campaigns just keep refreshing the page give it some activity um and that's literally it for that but then so now what we're going to do is go to continue and set up a facebook event if you're using custom conversions um if you already know what that is great if you don't like i said i'll make a video probably be the next one i make um on how to use custom conversions but Honestly, unless I need to specifically say that I need people who entered this page, but not this page, but did this, but not that, unless I need specifics like that, I love using these Facebook events because there's tons of options um, and just choose whatever you want. So let's say for that first page, right? Um, so let's say view content. So this is going to show up as a view content event. Um, okay, don't worry about this. Let's just turn that off. And then this is the little... Does it show you how to? Oh yeah, it shows you here. Um, at the end of the Facebook pixel code, you can, what does it say here? Yeah, just below the head tag. So literally copy and paste this like before. I'm gonna go back in here. Go back to our, oh, not that, tracking code. And you're gonna wanna literally write it in, did I? Is there one here already? No. So what you're going to want to do is after the Facebook pixel code ends, just add that literally just like that. I think I've done it before. Yeah, see, I've done it in the footer as well. Um, 
I find it works, so you can do that if you don't want to clutter it up, but it does tell you to enter it after the header. I don't know if it matters, but that's what it says, so just so you know. Uh, let's leave here because we don't need this. Now let's go into Wix. This is my website. Um, I'll just show you quickly. It's the same thing with WordPress. You pretty much go into your settings, go into tracking and analytics or whatever it's called in, in WordPress um, and just literally add new tool, Facebook pixel, put the code in. And again, that's, that's literally it. So now my whole website, and then you can add the specific events to different pages. Um, when you go in here, I'm sure I can. Um, actually, I don't know how to add in Wix to specific pages. <laughs> I just realized I only have the, I think I only have the whole website just with the basic tracking code. Cause I don't really have any purchases on my website. I just have uh, yeah, interesting. Well, maybe I'll make another video just on that. I realize I haven't even done that for myself. Um, anyways, sorry, totally got off track there. Um, so that's pretty much how you add the codes. And then again, do the same thing, make sure it's active. Uh, if you're in ClickFunnels and you have that initial page and then you have, you know, your, they, they've entered their info, they come to this next page. Now they're technically a lead, right? Because they've entered their information. So what you can do is go back to the pixel and choose lead. Oops, hello choose lead. And now you put that event underneath the tracking code on that second page. And then what you're going to be able to see is, I don't know why I keep clicking the wrong things. Uh, done. Come down here. It'll give you all your stats and analytics, and it's going to show you how many page views, how many, um, I think a search is one of the events that I have, uh, how many view contents, how many page views, and it'll show you how many leads if you have the lead pixel. Um, and then what you can do as well, I wasn't really going to show this here, but let's just do it quick. Um, ads manager. Okay. So when you do, I'll, I'll, I'll explain this when I do the ads video, but uh, for those of you that already know, you come into columns and this is going to show you. So when you have an ad, can hold the phone. Now I'll keep it blank. When you have an ad campaign in here. Um, this is going to tell you all the information you want to know, right? So how much you spent, your results, your reach, all that kind of stuff. So it's on the default and then you can make your custom ones. So it'll tell you what you want it to tell you. Um, so it'll go customize columns. And if you want to know, so you see, you can, it's like, I want to see my results first. I want to see this here, whatever. If you type in, get out of here. Actually, VSL. I think that's what that was called, VSL. Yeah, it'll actually start showing you. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I used to have an event, but it'll show you when you type in your um, psh, your pixel name, which assume presumably you'd name the pixel accordingly to the campaign that you're uh, using it for. Um, it'll show you the events in here and then you can add the events to your custom columns so that within all these results you can see how much you spent, how much a cost per click or how what is your cost per click, uh, how many people came to your um, your view content uh, event, how many people came to your lead event and you can see how much did that cost me to get someone to become a lead. Um, so there's just so much tracking and so many things you can do and the Facebook pixel allows you to well, to do all of that, <laughs> I keep self explaining myself. Um, and then when you set up a campaign as well, again, I'll show you that in the next video, um, you'll actually use a pixel for that campaign that'll track everything. And that way, when you come in here, and you make your custom columns, um, it's all going to integrate and be nice and smooth. I'm probably not making any sense now. So I'm going to just leave it there. This is supposed to be just a quick video, show you guys how to just set up a pixel, what it's all about. Um, like I said, in the videos where I create an actual ad, I'll go through that and you'll be able to see what I mean with all this gibberish that I'm speaking. So that's pretty much it right now. Just a quick video, show you how to do it. Hope that helped. Um, I'd love it if you guys would comment, like, subscribe, all that greatness. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description below like usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.